It is a Wednesday. Hope you're having a nice day. We've got some fog and little clouds out there along the coast from San Diego all the way north to Cape Mendocino. We've got rain on the way, and I think that is the big weather story in Northern California, especially Southern California. You just had your rain. We're going to start seeing the jet stream drifting down into our latitude, which means rain. It starts Friday and it lasts on and off through the weekend. And then next week, and I'll show you that in a long range model, looks wet, not just for us, but even Southern California, which I know is, when I say us, I mean, it's all California, but for the Bay Area, Central California rain, and then Southern California looks like an opportunity for rain later on, which is great because anytime you're increasing fuel moisture, as I keep talking about it, but especially in Southern California, they went so long without rain, They've got rain, but a little more rain isn't going to hurt. In the mountains, you can see you can see some valley fog here up around the Sutter Buttes. You can see Mount Shasta. You can see snow on the spine of the Sierra Nevada. And you can see clear down on the coast, down towards Laguna Beach and um, Redondo Beach. So here's what it looks like for the Bay Area tonight. A freeze watch in blue and a freeze warning in purple. Uh, there could be some frost as well, which would come with that, but it's going to be cold and not just for us, but down south of Point Conception, which is, means Santa Barbara, the overnight low of 44 degrees. That's pretty cold. Pine Mountain above up in the hills, 24 degrees. And then this is the one that strikes me as you go to Los Angeles and the overnight low is at 42. That's cold. That's cold. And again, you have a lot of people, folks, you know, LA is not the place you expect to be wearing uh uh, a, a puffy jacket, but I think you're going to need one as we get into tomorrow morning. Okay, let's start right with the models. We'll start right off. This is the 500 millibar vorticity model. I use it a lot. And I'm, one of the things I'm trying to do here is show the same models over and over. So like there are tons of different models. There's, like I said the other day, there's the GFS, there's, this is the GFS, there's the um, Euro, there's the North America model, there's the HRRR, there, there's a bunch of different models. But if we get used to looking at one, this is the GFS, which is sort of ubiquitous and doesn't update a lot and the grid size is big, but it gives you a good idea of the general pattern because um, in this in this long range, it's difficult to get real granular. So when we use this model, the 500 millibar map vorticity, we can kind of pick out the jet stream and where the areas of um, the kinetic areas are, where the areas of lift and, and, and instability. So right now you look at this map and here is instability here. That's vorticity, increased vorticity. And then you see it's sort of troughing out, like there's a trough here. A ridge here, that's the beginning of our change. And you'll see it start to move. So here's right now, this is the low that was in Southern California. It's been bringing snow to, you know, to different parts of the Southwest. Um, you've seen some of those pictures, I imagine. And that low moves off. And as it does, this low moves in. There's Friday, that's Friday morning. And that's Northern California. And you see that flow, see that flow right there? That is what I, that is a really clean, rainfall potential for Northern California, Central California even, the way that the ridge is broken down and then it flattens out beautifully. Oh, look at that. So that's on uh, Monday afternoon, coming Monday. So this is the weekend right here, if you're thinking weekend. So here's the weekend, right? Rain, 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 scattered showers, scattered showers, Northern California. Look at the line, how it's drawn right at the Bay Area. And then right here, it starts to drop further. That is on Monday afternoon, Tuesday morning. And that's Southern California. You're getting in on it. So again, how granular is this? Not very, but I'll show you what it does show you is plenty of activity. Look at that. Smokes. February 12th. So it's a very active pattern. So again, is that going to happen? Mm, it sure changed a lot from, you know, when we looked at this yesterday, that's pretty different. It's Yesterday was showing rain and showing the potential for a prolonged storm series but that is even juicier than yesterday so we'll see how it performs as we go through time now this is the gfs again down on the ground we're looking at the lines the lines are the isobars right when they get close together like over here there's wind when they're far apart there's not wind right there's no wind very light wind so watch when they were here if you're in la you see it tightens up a little bit as we go into thursday morning and then here comes the rain there's friday morning and you see the isobars see how they tighten up a little bit right that's a storm that's that's the low up here the high down here 
the lines represent the difference between the pressure gradient. And the best way to look at this, if, if you're a, um, hold on a sec, if you're a backpacker or a climber or anybody who uses topographic maps, that's the valley, that's the hill. And the closer those lines get together, if you can just picture when you, you used to use, we used to use paper maps, but you picture those lines, those are the, you know, the lines of equal elevation. That's the same thing. It's the, the, these are the lines, not equal. Yeah, they are the lines of equal pressure, but when they get close together, it means it's steep. It means there's a gradient and that means the wind. And that, this map's money, by the way, GFS again, sea level pressure and rainfall. And this is a, certainly a little more granular and then we get into here. Here is Friday, rain. See where the line is? Again, more rain for San Francisco. Even San Jose gets in on it a little bit on Saturday. San Jose gets into and, and then you see the bullseye over the Sierra Nevada. These types of systems, this type of weather event, really favors the mountains, or graphic lifting. And that's, you can see, you see the bullseye? <clears throat> Things hit the mountains and they ramp up. And they go up, they, get, they raise up. There's a lot of things that happen, but one of the main things that happens is that, that more air gets piled up there, cools as it goes up, right? Less pressure, and you get condensation. So the lee side of the mountains, you'll get Reno not getting a whole lot, but that bullseye. So here we go. Boy, it just looks so productive. That's when, Monday afternoon, little break, and then another hit, it's Northern California. That is on Thursday morning. So right now, you guys, and then it drops down to Southern California on sat next Saturday. So right now, look at that. And that's LA too. That's a big one for LA. If that happens, that's on Wednesday, the 12th, February 12th. Um, so this is a very productive pattern. It just is. And so this model is what we looked at. This is accumulation, same, same model, GFS. And I want you to see the difference because if you can remember yesterday how much rain it showed and where it showed so now i want you can see the model runs have changed right so let's go push forward if you can remember so here we are into saturday morning so now that the models are much more aggressive saturday morning um not in, in northern california and then as we go into saturday afternoon look at that bullseye or sunday morning saturday afternoon late you see that bullseye, and the bullseye now is further south. It's more down towards Lake Tahoe. It was up in here, but the jet stream, as it's dropped further south, and the moisture available is further south, the, the, the haves and the have-nots get really delineated. Another, well, that didn't make sense, but the idea that, that this bullseye was here yesterday, and now it's further south, that tells me it's going to be a little bit warmer storm. There's more moisture further south. And you can see that represented in San Jose's rainfall forecast by Monday, by Sunday afternoon of potentially two inches of rain. Didn't have that yesterday at all. Wasn't even close. So just take it with a grain of salt and look at this. It just builds. And that it's, oh my goodness, that's good, a significant amount of rain. And it keeps coming. And that's into Southern California. So this is by the 14th. So what I showed you, let's back it up and I'll try to go day by day here. So here is Thursday afternoon. Here is Friday afternoon. Here is Saturday afternoon. Get a good look at that. And then here is Sunday afternoon. Here is... Monday afternoon, you get the idea. Here is Tuesday afternoon. Sorry, I'm going so slow. Thursday, uh, Wednesday afternoon, and so on. So it really does have the potential to be quite the event. So we'll keep our eyes on it. But the model has changed significantly from yesterday, the, the output, right? So the idea is the same, though. Like I said before, this pattern is going to it should develop looks like there's a lot of consensus on the pattern the long wave pattern but the granular stuff I, at this point i'm going i i what we'll do here is we'll go 24 hours by 24 hours i'll look at stuff out further but i'm not i'm not basing my life on that i'm going okay tw but every 24 hours i feel comfortable with but when you get a, a dynamic pattern like that just 24 hours by 24 hours. This is the national map. I just want you to see what's going on. You can see your freeze warning in the Central Valley. A lot of fog. This is um, 
the this these, this is the watches and warnings page for the next 24 hours you can see the fog a lot of fog in the pacific northwest some rain down here in the lower ohio mississippi valleys some snow issues and some snow issues here so if we push forward we can look at the um forecast for this works out for uh tomorrow or late today and you can see the snow that's that low that left through southern california brought all the rain it's now bringing some snow and and such to joshua tree grand canyon places like that and then here is rain pretty significant rainfall as well too and then up here is the snow so it's these are the areas of pay attention to the next couple of uh hours this is Mount Tamalpais, looking kind of south. And I want you to see an example. Remember I showed you that visible satellite of the fog um, kind of pushing in over the coastal hills. We talked about it averages 1,000 feet, fog. This is the fog this morning from Mount Tam. And look, watch it start to lift up. Watch, right. So that's an influence. The high pressure is weakening and the fog, the marine layer is deepening right so that's where we are now so as the marine layer deepens the air mass changes the pressures are changing that's an indication that's a symptom of low lower pressure uh in the area this is ocean beach about as small as it gets i, I pulled this up this morning i'm like wow that's i mean like i'd be okay with you swimming out there right now that's <laughs> i don't often say that ocean beach i'll tell you right now you get i don't know how many times a year you get it like that but when it's teeny doesn't happen very much so good day to be crab fishing or um i don't know i don't know if the surf looks good but it's it's you're not going to die this is remember yesterday i was trying so hard and i may have to try hard again today dang it i had that mount rose picture up yesterday and i was i swore to you that i would make it work i'm going to call the folks at mount rose ski resort and i'm going to say you guys i can't make it work I have to refresh, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go over here to Lake Tahoe. This is uh, Heavenly Valley, which I think is one of the most beautiful ski resorts. I mean, look at that view. Oh, my gosh. Then again, I talked to some people. I said, you know, like, who is that guy that gets to go skiing on, well, today's Wednesday. But that guy's awesome. But, and I like that he's, he's just taking it in, man. But um, somebody said, yeah, you're going to retire, so maybe you can do that which I would be stoked. Like, I never thought about that. Just go up skiing. And I'm, I grew up skiing. I'd rather surf, but skiing's awesome. And just to be up on the mountain like that, isn't that beautiful? Oh, they're both, everybody wears helmets now, too. That Sonny Bono thing with the helmets really changed. <laughs> Remember when he hit that, unfortunately, passed? But it's, it's amazing how many years ago that was. And he literally changed the way people ski because everybody wears helmets, which is, I think, smart. Okay, this is Mount Shasta um, over the last, I love this shot, wow. This is sunrise this morning. Thanks for hanging in. Let's watch the sun come up. I love these live cameras. I hope you have taken a look at the alert cams because they are awesome. Um, God, that's stunning. And again, if you have this view, if you're up in Hammond Ranch and you have this view, God love you. And also, you know what I just picked up here a little bit too are some controlled burns. Like see you're down in here, the smoke. I'm assuming those are controlled. Yeah, those are like controlled burns. So isn't that interesting that, you know, LA was on fire the other day, but uh, a couple hundred miles to the north, you can have controlled burns. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, again, remember the models are flipping around a little bit, but we are headed for a wet period, it appears. Starts Friday, especially in Northern California, San Jose North, and it fluctuates right through the following week and includes you guys in Southern California, Central California, and beyond. All right. Thanks for hanging. I really appreciate um, you folks and, uh, you know, just a lot of new subscribers. I appreciate it. And I'll try to I'll try to deliver for you. OK, see you back here.